Hi, I'm Kathy Wong, your guide to alternative medicine at about.com. I'm going to show you how to make your own kitchen cleaning products using a few inexpensive ingredients you can get at the grocery and health food stores. Turn off the refrigerator or unplug it before cleaning. Remove all the shelves and drawers. Add one tablespoon of liquid soap to two cups of warm water and wash all the inside surfaces. Rinse them with clear water and then dry with a clean cloth or paper towel. Wash the drawers and shelves in the sink with soap and warm water and then wipe dry. Don't forget the outside handles of the fridge. If you have a stainless steel fridge, pour plain club soda into a spray bottle. Spritz it on the fridge doors and wipe dry. Next is the oven. It's going to take a bit of elbow grease to remove the buildup. Remove the racks and soak them in the sink or tub in dish soap and warm water. Use a soft brush or nylon sponge to remove the buildup. Mix half a cup of salt, one and a half cups of baking soda, and half a cup of water. Mix it together into a paste. Plug any holes in the bottom of the oven with foil to keep the cleaner from leaking into the broiler area. Spread the mixture on the walls and bottom of the oven. I wear rubber gloves and use my hands to spread the mixture. Salt can corrode metal, so try not to get it on any metal parts. Now you can go to sleep. In the morning, combine a quarter cup of water with a quarter cup of vinegar. Spray the oven walls and floor with this mixture. Wipe it well using a nylon or plastic sponge for stubborn spots. You'll need to rinse off the baking soda completely or you'll see a white residue when it dries. The microwave can trap grease and cooking odors. Mix a quarter cup of vinegar and two cups of water in a microwave safe bowl. Put it in the microwave. Cook on high for about three minutes. Then let it sit for three minutes. The steam will soften any food spills and the vinegar will cut through the grease and help get rid of any odors. Open the microwave door and carefully remove the bowl. Wipe down the walls with a clean wet sponge. Dry it with a clean dishcloth. The kitchen sink is one of the most germ filled areas in the kitchen. Hot water alone often won't do. An effective sanitizer is a weak bleach water solution. Put on some gloves to protect your hands. You don't want any bleach to come in contact with your body. Work in a well-ventilated area because the fumes should not be inhaled. Mix a quarter cup of bleach in four cups of cold water. Carefully pour it into a clearly labeled new plastic bottle. Spritz it on the sink and soak dishcloths in the solution. Leave it for five to 10 minutes and then rinse out thoroughly. If you don't already use one, a soap holder like this one can keep sponges and dishcloths off the kitchen counter and the bottom of the sink. A few safety tips. Never mix homemade cleaners with commercial products because it can produce toxic fumes. Use the same precautions as you would with commercial cleaners. Keep them out of reach of children and pets and don't get them in your eyes or mouth. Always work in a well-ventilated area. Label containers carefully and list all the ingredients on the bottle. And finally, store ingredients in store-bought containers. Don't use utensils or containers you use for food or use empty cleaning bottles. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit us on the web at altmedicine.about.com.